will be assisting you today. Am I speaking with Ms. Solagan Martinez? Uh, Solange Martinez. Solange. Okay, I do apologize for that, Ms. Martinez. That's and how okay. can I assist you this morning? Um, I wanted to ask you, what was your name, hon? My name is Anna. Oh, Anna. And your last name or ID number? My my last name is Garcia. Okay, Anna Garcia. Uh, thank yes, you. The same as uh, uh, Luisa Oyarsson's maiden name, Garcia. Uh, I, I wanted to ask you, um, Luisa Oyarsson is a chronically ill elderly who is um, dying of cancer because the cancer came back a third time after five years of lack of, oh, that's okay, it's not your fault, um, after five years of lack of medication and medical care because uh, her New York State straight Medicaid was uh, sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members in the country. She, her cancer came back a third time, and she has lung cancer now. Um, and uh, uh, the, the state employee who w has been selling her New York State straight Medicaid to illegals uh, finally gave her her uh, New York State straight Medicaid, supposedly, after the news uh, was contacted. And uh, we uh, found strange that even though she lives in Livingston County, uh, she has uh, a New York State straight Medicaid, uh, supposedly from Livingston County, but it has the same uh, number, ID number, as the fake Medicaid that the guy that was selling uh, her Medicaid uh, to illegals gave her um, when she was living in Westchester County. Uh, so we wanted to find out if the fake Medicaid that she got from Livingston County uh, with the same name, um, with the same ID number from Westchester County is working and if you can see it in the computer because as I understand it, she's paying two, uh, two, two ninety five from uh, for genetic medications when she's supposed to pay one dollar and ten cents for the genetic medications and three dollars for the brand names. So that means that she okay. doesn't have Medicaid. Okay, and, and I'll be more than happy to go ahead and assist you uh, with Mrs. Martinez, and I'm just so sorry that you all are having to go through this. It's, it's crazy how, how these these people work, and, and they really don't take uh, in consideration what, what who the people that they're hurting. I do sincerely apologize that you all are going through this. Now, um, as far as the Medicaid is concerned, um, the thing is that we have to don't have any information about the Medicaid. No, we don't um, want that information that about the Medicaid. Uh, we don't want information about the Medicaid. We want to know oh. how much she is paying according to your record for her prescription drug plan because you are her prescription drug, drug plan. So you should have listed um, the prices for the medication because the pharmacy uh, charges her what you tell her to, you tell the pharmacy to charge. Uh, her for the genetic medications and also for the brand name. Okay, so so the thing is, is that the, 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 what I'm showing here is that she actually has an assistance from Social Security, which is called uh, low income subsidy. Um, and this, what this uh, assistance does, assistance does, is that this assistance helps her pay a lower copayment uh, for her medication. Um, and she actually has, uh, this assistant actually started in April. I'm showing that she's had it actually off and on, um, you know, from 2014 all the way through now. Right now it's current from April 1st, um, 2016 through December of 2016. Now this assistance is not from Medicaid or from us. It's actually coming from Social Security. So therefore, um, she is at a level one uh, with 100% um, so this would actually, uh, this is what assists her in actually uh, paying a lower copayment for her medications. So I'll, um, I can go ahead and give you what she actually, what her copayments would be um, under this assistance. Oh, great. Thank you. Okay, so just bear with me. Now, the way this thing, is, the way this works is, um, give me a second. Under, depending on the level that she's on, which is, like I said, she's on the level one, a hundred percent. So, so just bear with me here. 
because I just bring up that information now. As far before we go to go any further here, um, I do I do want to go ahead and give you a reference number for this call. Okay. Um, you do have some picture right with her. Mhm. Okay, and that's going to be Islands of India. Five eight six five two seven nine zero. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. Just bear with me. Um, she's at LIS one. She would actually be paying two dollars and ninety five cents uh, for her generic medication. And then if, if it's a brand name medication, she would be paying seven dollars and forty cents. Okay, for level one med, right? Which is yes, that's what she's on right now. Okay, for brand name. Okay. Um, the problem with uh, seven dollars and seventy five cents you said for the brand names? Seven dollars and forty cents. Forty cents. The problem is that uh, she is not supposed to pay uh, more than uh, one dollar and ten cents for the generic uh, medications and three dollars for the brand name medication. What happened is that this illegal aliens mafia member and assassin, uh, Kevin McGuire, uh, is a state employee working as the commissioner of the Department of Social Services in uh, Westchester County. And what he does is he sells the identities of uh, and government benefits of citizens at the Department of Social Services to illegals in the country and across the country. So what he does is he takes the, the Medicaid for the elderly and chronically ill citizens like Luisa Oyarsson and sells them to illegals and then he falsifies documents at the Social Security Administration office because uh, they have illegal aliens mafia members working there and put them, sign the citizens up uh, for um, Medicare Part B or, or another uh, insurance which the citizens cannot use because it doesn't cover their uh, chronic illnesses or their medications. So the citizens end up dying because they cannot afford the medication and the, uh, medica the medical insurance that he signs, him, signs them up for doesn't cover the um, chronic illnesses that they have. So they end up being assassinated uh, and um, the illegals end up uh, getting free health care and free medications with the Medicaid of these uh, USA citizens. And the problem is that the Social Security Administration Office uh, illegal aliens mafia members signed uh, the citizens up for this Medicare Part B, which uh, she never signed up for, and she has uh, requested termination uh, of uh, seven times now. And uh, the uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services uh, who are in charge of uh, uh, taking them out of, taking the citizens out of Medicare Part B upon their request, uh, according to the law, uh, continue to falsify documents and uh, keep the citizens uh, in Medicare Part B uh, so the, the Department of Social Services commissioners and illegal aliens mafia, other illegal aliens mafia members continue to sell the citizens' Medicaid uh, to illegals. And so the citizens uh, die. They have no, no way of, of escaping death. Uh, and uh, we have filed a federal lawsuit against the Department of Social Services and Kevin McGuire. And um, it's going to be uh, also added the, um, the Social Security Administration Office as well as the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services because they have illegal aliens mafia members doing this. So what I'm uh, requesting is that this Social Security Administration Office uh, supposed help that is given uh, given to the citizens be taken out because Luisa Oyarsson never signed up for Medicare Part B and she never uh, signed up for this um, extra help from uh, from this help from the Social Security. The illegal aliens mafia members working at the Social Security Administration offices across the country have been uh, doing this, signing, the, signing up the uh, citizens um, and giving the citizens um, uh, supposed help, quote unquote, uh, that kill the citizen because they cannot afford the prices of the medication. And she's not supposed to receive anything from Social Security. She's supposed to receive her uh, extra help from her New York State trade Medicaid 
because the, the citizens who have uh, New York State straight Medicaid get extra help and get their prescription drug plan premium paid off every month. So it covers their prescription drug plan premiums, and it also uh, gives them the extra help that they need to pay uh, $3 for the brand name medications and $1.10 for the um, genetic medications, not $7.40 for, for the brand names because the citizens that uh, are victims of the illegal aliens mafia uh, uh, are victims of the following. The illegal aliens mafia steal the, their identities and their pensions uh, and uh, all the government benefits, even uh, their food stamps. And in this case, Luis Ollarson is supposed to receive about $5,000 of um, uh, government benefits, of her uh, Social Security benefits, as well as the uh, state pension, New York State pension, and other benefits. But she only receives uh, uh, $1,085 because the illegal aliens mafia member uh, that I mentioned, Kevin McGuire, and other illegal aliens mafia members working at the Social Security Department, um, Social Security Administration Office, and the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, as well as the Social Security, uh, as well as the Department of Social Services, um, get the the citizens steal the citizens' pensions and uh, the other government benefits. So. We are talking about about $4,000 that Luis Yasun is not receiving, that Kevin McGuire and the um, illegal aliens mafia members working at the uh, set um, offices, government offices, are uh, stealing from her and from millions of citizens. And now she ends up paying uh, these um, co-payments that she cannot afford. That's why she's dying of cancer. Uh, and also the Department of Social Services um, told her that her, she has New York State straight Medicaid when she doesn't because if she had New York State straight Medicaid, uh, she would be paying $1.10 for the genetics medication and uh, $3 for the uh, brand name medications. And she would be uh, getting extra help, which would be paying for her premiums every month, which according to what you said, she's not getting. So. We were right. The um, Medicaid uh, was fake, and it is the the Livingston County Department of Social Services is working. The illegal aliens mafia from Livingston County Department of Social Services is working with the uh, uh, Westchester County Department of Social Services uh, illegal aliens mafia members to continue to sell her um, New York State spread Medicaid to illegals and continue to have her in uh, medical insurance uh, in a medical insurance that does not cover her chronic illnesses or her um, medications. Okay, so let me, I mean, and again, I know uh, this is just crazy. I'm, I'm so sorry you all are having to go through all this. I'm sure you uh, are. So let me just make sure, make sure that I'm understanding correctly. Okay, so... She never signed up for any. She never signed up for any uh, Medic, uh, Medicare Part B or any other plan besides New York State Straight Medicaid. What happened is that illegal aliens mafia member and assassin of, of, an, of American citizens, Kevin McGuire, has been selling her New York State Straight Medicaid to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members in the country. Therefore, he had to sign her up for another medic, uh, medical um, insurance, which was Medicare Part B. But he doesn't have a power of attorney or a representative um, payee form for Luisa Oyarsson. So he has been doing sign, signing, uh, signing her up for um, a prescription, I mean, for um, uh, medical plans without her knowledge or consent, which is medica, uh, medical insurance fraud. The AARP plan that she has now is the one that she has had for more than five years. What happened is that uh, the extra help that she was supposed to be getting from her New York State trade Medicaid is not uh, getting to her prescription drug plan from AARP because her New York State trade Medicaid 
is being sold to illegals and illegal aliens mafia members across the country. So uh, she was given a Medicaid that's a fake Medicaid. It doesn't cover what it needs to be covered. What, what it needs to cover. Uh, the Medicare, uh, the AARP uh, prescription drug plan that she has now is the one that she has had since uh, five years ago. Because what, what you're asking is, uh, we don't know at this point, because this uh, illegal aliens mafia member in uh, American Citizens Assassin, Kevin McGuire, has gone into her social security uh, confidential and federal records which are supposed to be untouchable, and have falsified those records. So we don't know at this point if he has changed her prescription drug plan with AARP. But the prescription drug plan that, that uh, she has had with AARP, she has had it for the last five or six years. So if it's not the same one, it's because he changed it. But she's not supposed to be uh, receiving anything from Social Security, uh, from the Social Security Administration Office. She's supposed to be getting her extra help from New York State, but her extra help okay. comes from, uh, from her Medicaid because New York State's trade Medicaid recipients are the ones that um, receive the extra help from the state of New York, not from Social Security. Yes, because uh, the uh, commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Livingston County, Ms. Diane Dane, claims that she issued a Medicaid from uh, Livingston County um, Department of Social Services. But we know that she didn't issue a Medicaid from Livingston County because the Medicaid uh, that she uh, supposedly issued has the same name I mean, has the same ID number as the Medicaid that the other illegal aliens mafia member, Kevin McGuire, issued uh, in Westchester County, which was a fake Medicaid. Luisa Oyasun was not, was not able to use it in the last five years, and that's why her cancer came back a third time. So what we are uh, confirming with AARP prescription drug plan now is that in fact, the, we were right. The Medicaid that the Department of Social Services Illegal Aliens Mafia member commissioner in Livingston County claims that it's a Livingston County um, New York State trade Medicaid is not a Medicaid. They are falsifying records and pretending that uh, the hospital's bills are being paid when in reality they're not being paid by uh, New York State, her, Lisa Yarson's New York State trade Medicaid. They are being paid by Medicare Part B uh, which, uh, which, is, which is a medical insurance that Luisa Oyarzun never signed up for and has requested, according to U.S. law, uh, to be terminated seven times. But the Department of Social, the Department, the Social Security Administration Office employees who are illegal aliens mafia members continue to falsify documents and continue to keep her there in violation of U.S. law. So Luisa Oyasun should not get anything from Medicare Part B because she never signed up for that insurance. Ms. Martinez, so, so and I, again, I do agree with you that the Yes, so, uh, what you okay. can assist me with is what you already assisted me with. You told me that Luisa Oyasun does not have New York State straight Medicaid, that she has Medicare Part B and that she has uh, a program from Medicare Part B coming from the Social Security Administration Office or the illegal aliens mafia member working there who are falsifying her documents and millions of other citizens' documents. Uh, and they are having her paid uh, $7.40 for um, prescription drug plans uh, that are brand name, when in reality she should be paying $3 for the brand names uh, because uh, supposedly she has New York State straight Medicaid, but she doesn't. They just gave her, sent her a, a document saying that she has Medicaid uh, effective uh, June 2nd, 2016, until December 2016, the end of December. But uh, 
those the, the letter that she received is just evidence that the, the Department of Social Services Commissioner in Livingston County is trafficking with citizens' identities and government benefits because she's telling Luis Alyarson, this old elderly and chronically ill citizen, you have New York State straight Medicaid because uh, we issued that because you qualified for that, when in reality she is in Medicare Part B and she's paying for medication according to Medicare Part B uh, plans. Uh, and Medicare Part B is a plan that she was put in by illegal aliens mafia members working for the illegal aliens mafia in order to be able to sell her Medicaid, to continue to sell her Medicaid to illegals in the country. So illegals can get free uh, health care and free medication. While the citizens um, go without medication because they, don't ha they cannot afford the medication, the copayments, or uh, the medical um, care that they need. Yes, uh, uh, no. the, the problem is that she has taken up uh, Social Security, like, like you say. She has contacted Social Security, and according to U.S. law, uh, she has requested termination of this um, false medical insurance that she was signed up for without her knowledge or consent by criminals working as uh, government okay. employees. Can I understand all that? I do understand all that, what you're mm -hmm. you know, all that I'm aware of that. No, that she's using uh, supposedly her Medicaid, New York State straight Medicaid, but uh, which she was told in writing by the illegal aliens mafia member, the Department of Social Services Commissioner uh, of Livingston County, um, that she has New York State straight Medicaid, but in fact uh, she is lying because she does not have New York State straight Medicaid. You just confirmed that she has um, Medicare Part B as in boy which is a plan, uh, um, Medicare, uh, medical plan that she never signed up for and the illegal aliens mafia member at the Department of, um, at the Social Security Administration office signed her up for in order to continue to sell her New York State uh, straight Medicaid to illegals so they can uh, get a free medical care and um, low plan uh, co-payments for, for their medications courtesy of the taxpayers. 
and I understand that you say that you cannot uh, speak to um, regarding the Medicaid or the extra help, but I have uh, uh, I have spoken to you guys AARP for about uh, nine years or so, and for the last five years, um, and you guys were able to confirm whether or not the person has a New York State straight Medicaid uh, extra help and um, that they were uh, supposed to pay $1.10 for the medication for genetics and $3 uh, for the brand names. But since you are not saying that, that means that she is still in Medicare Part B, even though she requested a termination of Medicaid, uh, of Medicare Part B seven times. Uh, and according to U.S. law, uh, the citizen only needs to request the termination of Medicare Part B uh, and doesn't need to give a, even a reason to terminate Medicare Part B one time in order for the citizens to be taken out of that by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, uh, according to the law board. She requested it as uh, millions of other citizens more than seven times uh, or seven times or so, and they continue to be uh, in Medicare Part B and the illegals in the country continue to use the citizens' Medicaid uh, and pay uh, co-payments that are low and um, get 100% uh, coverage, coverage in their um, medical uh, care, and it's not fair. But um, what I wanted to confirm was that she does not have New York State straight Medicaid as the illegal aliens mafia member uh, Diane Dane, Commissioner of the Department of Social Services in Livingston County, claims she has. I have the letter right here next to me. Correct, and I can, I do apologize for interrupting you from interrupting this, but again, as far as me being able to confirm that information, I, I'm not able to confirm that information. Yes, you are, because you told me that she gets the Social Security Administration Office um, help and the uh, uh, citizens who have New York State straight Medicaid don't get uh, help from Social Security Administration offices. They get help from the New York State, and their help is called extra help for um, the prescription drug plan, and they have to pay $1.10 for the genetics. Uh, and Luis Oyerson is paying $2.95 for the genetics. That means that she does not have New York State straight Medicaid, as the state commissioner claims. You just did. Sure you me, just did. The problem is that she cannot, we cannot tell because this guy, Kevin McGuire, comes and goes into her federal and medical records and falsifies them as he wills in order for him to continue to steal the taxpayer's money and tell the taxpayer, oh, I'm helping this citizen uh, with this and that, and she is in different programs. I need $10,000 here, $20,000 here, $30,000 here, because I'm helping this citizen. But in reality, he's not helping her. He's stealing from her and selling her benefits to illegals in the country. And uh, if she has the same 
uh, plan that she was having about five years ago, then he hasn't falsified the plan. But if he if she doesn't, then he falsified the plan because he I think he tells people that he has a power of attorney signed by Luisa Oyasun when in reality he doesn't. Okay, so this plan that she has here with us, with us she has actually been since 2008, from, uh, March 1st of 2008 through December 31st of 2010. She actually had the ARP Medicare RX Savers Plus. And in January 1st of 2011, she uh, it got switched to um, AARP RX Preferred PDP Plan. That then, was back in 2011. Yes, that's the problem because in 2011, according to my research about the illegal aliens mafia and this assassin, Kevin McGuire, and falsifier of uh, documents uh, of uh, in order to sell the, the citizens' identities to uh, illegals, that's when he switched her definitely to Medicare Part B um, uh, without her knowledge or consent and continued to sell her New York State trade medicates to illegals. So the plan that she has now is not the plan that she's supposed to have. The plan that she's supposed to have is the same one that she had uh, in 2008. And she had and she had a zero copayment every month. I mean, I mean, not a copayment. She has a zero uh, um, premium uh, every month because the state of New York uh, pays for her premium every month. Okay. So the, the the thing is here. Okay. So the plan that she actually had, she uh, the uh, the low income. Uh, Subsidy assistance, which is the extra help, is assisting her in paying for some of her her premium. As of right now, Cheyenne's showing that she does have a four hundred and seventeen dollars and sixty cents balance on the account because the assistance does not pay a hundred percent of her premium. Exactly, now, because the assistance that belongs to Luisa Oyarzun is being it's given it's to it's uh, it's uh, illegal it's mafia it's members it's who have her identity. You know, you know what I mean. I, I do I, I do understand. And please, uh, and I, again, I just sincerely apologize uh, for interrupting you. Um, but it, you know, it seems like we're going around and around. I, I understand all that information you're giving me. I do. I really do. But what I'm trying to determine here is, did she or did she not agree to this plan? And is she using this plan? That's what I'm trying to determine yes. here. Yes. Uh, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, as far as I'll tell you the answer right now. I'll tell you the answer right now. The answer to your question is no, because in 2011, uh, Kevin McGuire uh, went with his uh, illegal aliens mafia members to her apartment and threatened with taking her, uh, uh, taking her Medicaid away and, sell, and selling it to illegals for good and putting her in Medicare Part B without her knowledge or consent, because according to him, he has the power to do that. So the answer is no. Again, I apologize for interrupting you. I do understand all that. But the thing is that this is not part B as a boy. This is part B as a baby. Yes, I understand. I work for the. Okay. Uh, I work as an interpreter and translator for the Social Security Administration Office as well as the federal and state government. I know uh, which one is Part B, the prescription Part D, as in David, prescription drug plan. Part B, as in Boy, okay. which is the medical uh, uh, insurance plan, and Part A, as in uh, Apple, which is the overnight state. Uh, uh, for citizens. And Luisa Oyasun, uh, uh, if you look at the, at the record, she has had Part A, I think Apple, Medicare Part A, since 2004 when she became chronically ill and disabled. Uh, and she has had Part A uh, since then until 2016. But this illegal aliens mafia member and assassin, Kevin McGuire, working for the state of New York, has been uh, selling her Medicaid uh, to illegals uh, as he does with uh, millions of citizens, uh, and he switched her from the uh, Medicare Part A as in Apple to Medicare Part B as in Boy, and gave her this new uh, medical insurance, Medicare Part B, which she has not been able to use because it doesn't cover her cancer and her chronic, other chronic illnesses, and that's why she's dying of cancer now. Okay, and the thing is, Ms. Uh, Martinez, is that, well, that's what 
trying to explain to you is that we have no information in reference to the Part A or Part B. So the information that you're giving me in reference to this, to, to her Part A or Part B, uh, you know, there, there's nothing that I can do because we have we have no control over. The only thing we are covering her for is her Part B, as in David, which is her medication. Exactly. Now, I understand that. I know that. So, so, so as far as all, all this information that you're giving me in the Part B and the Part A, I mean, for me, it, I mean, it, it, I, I don't, I mean, there's nothing that I can do. There's no information that I have. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I don't want you to do anything with that information. What I want you to do is to straighten out, straighten up her prescription drug plan because this uh, criminal, Kevin McGuire, uh, in 2011, threatened uh, with um, falsifying her federal records and state records and uh, put her in in, um, in Medicare Part B, which allows Social Security to uh, give some so. So uh, the so-called uh, help, but it's not a help. Uh, the scheme that the illegal aliens mafia has is that they put the citizens, millions of citizens, in Medicare Part B, and then the, their uh, help, quote unquote, which is not a help, comes from the Social Security Administration office, and then they don't have money to uh, afford the co-payments that they have to pay uh, because their real extra help comes from the New York State Trade Medicaid. Uh, and from the state of New York, not the Social Security uh, uh, the Administration Office. And uh, since you mentioned the Social Security Administration Office, I knew right there and then that she still has the Medicare Part B, uh, the false um, fraudulent insurance that the illegal aliens mafia put her in in order to continue to sell her identity and New York State trade medicates to illegals in the country so they can get uh, a free medical care and local payments uh, for the medication for their medications um, courtesy of the taxpayers because the taxpayers have to pay for that. And again, Ms. Ms. I do all that. So yes, but you don't have to do anything. What you the only thing you have to do is switch her back to the uh, uh, prescription drug plan that she had before this criminal, Kevin McGuire, switched her to the false, uh, 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 illegitimate uh, prescription drug plan that she has now because she never signed up for this AARP plan. Okay, so Ms. Martinez, uh, and again, I am understand where you're coming from, I understand where you're telling me. What, the thing is that I cannot do that. First of all, I, I myself don't have the power to do that. We can't just switch the plan from one to another. Uh, what I can do, and for what I'm, sh I mean, for every all the information that you're providing me with, what I can actually do to sound some, I mean, obviously it's fraud. What's going on? So we do have a department that is our fraud department um, that I will be more than happy to uh, go ahead and provide you the phone number to, and get you over to that department so you can explain to them everything that is happening. And what they would actually do, they would actually open up an investigation and determine what is going on if there was any type of fraud, in, in, you know, in fact, in her plan. Um, and then you can go ahead and, and they'll go ahead and take it from there. They'll open up an investigation and, and figure out what's going on. Yes, um, uh, the problem with that, uh, Ms. Garcia, is that she has been uh, reporting this uh, to fraud departments, different fraud departments, for the last, uh, since 2011, since this criminal uh, falsified her uh, federal record okay. and Medicaid uh, record. Yeah, sure. yes, and uh, it has not changed. And the investigation uh, took 2011, 2014, 2000 and, I mean, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and now 2016. So in the meantime, she has been dying uh, a little bit more every day. Uh, because she's dying of, of cancer now, and the illegal aliens mafia, government employees, uh, working for the different um, entities and uh, prescription drug plans, are just waiting to, for her to die so they can say, oh, uh, the investigation finally found out that it was fraud and she should have been changed. But, uh, oops, we didn't change her because she's dead now. And that's what happens with millions, of, uh, uh, more than 34 uh, million uh, citizens, American citizens, while the uh, more than 34 uh, illegals in the country are getting a free ride with free medical care and low co-payments for their medications while this is happening. Okay. So let me just go ahead and take on a brief hold. Let me go ahead and see what, has, what they have done on our 
end and see what information we have. Yes, because I find that very strange that you say that you cannot switch her to another uh, plan, you know? Uh, as you can see, uh, the prescription drug plan controlled by the illegal alias mafia says that even though uh, the recipient of the plan uh, is telling them that uh, somebody switched her to this plan and she does not belong in this plan, they are refusing to switch the citizens back to their original plans, the one that the citizens signed uh, up for, not the illegal aliens mafia members. Uh, and uh, so you can see that um, the illegal aliens mafia is controlling uh, the Department of Social Services, the uh, Social Security Administration, the uh, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, and the uh, so-called prescription drug plans. And this is a trap for the citizens because they cannot get out of uh, the, the trafficking of citizens' identities and government benefits. Once the illegal alien mafia members uh, working as government employees get a hold of their um, identities and sell them to uh, illegal aliens and illegal aliens mafia members across the country, along with their government benefits, they have no way of escaping death. So we have millions of citizens uh, dying of, uh, for lack of medical care and medical uh, and medication while the illegals in the country are getting a free ride. Free medical care and uh, uh, low uh, cost uh, co-payment. According to my 15 years research, um, I have uh, worked undercover and I have um, uh, talked to some illegal aliens, mafia members and illegals in the country and they say that uh, the Americans are stupid because they come here, they get free medical insurance, uh, low uh, pay medicaid, low co-payments for their medications, um, and uh, paid electricity, paid gas, uh, paid housing, and they can have as many children as they want because the gringos, the stupid gringos, like they call it, pay for them, and they are telling me this while they are laughing about the stupid gringos, as they call it, uh, they pay for everything. And uh, they think that if they deport the illegal aliens, uh, illegal aliens or the illegal aliens mafia members back to Mexico or to their country, they're not, they're not coming back and they can come back um, as much as they want to because uh, the drug dealers have control of the, over the uh, border and they can uh, go through, uh, through the drug dealing and the drug dealers.